Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Today we're going to have a little fun here combining uh, pictures, textures, and putting them all together so that they believably uh, look like they are actually together. Uh, we're going to have a red brick wall as we see here. And then I found a nice graffiti canvas. This was actually a canvas picture. And I says, well, that would be nice to take this graffiti and place it on this red brick wall and make it look believable, you know, with the brick pattern and the texture uh, going through. And then, of course, I thought we'd top it off by putting a pretty lady right on the, the back wall. So that's our project today. So first things first is I got to turn around and start. We'll use our red brick as our background. The first thing I want to do, since we're going to be doing a combination here, is I want to desaturate it, okay? Now, you can do that a lot of ways. You can come up to image and desaturate it or unsaturate it. You can do an adjustment layer, and you can come up to a, uh, a hue saturation layer, okay? Or you can come down here and then do a hue saturation layer. You know, just like Photoshop, there's six different ways to do the same thing. So whichever you're more comfortable doing, just hit hue and saturation. And then I just want you to simply desaturate the brick wall so that we're basically a black and white image. Okay. All right. So now we've got the first page done. The next thing we got to do is get that uh, graffiti wall and we got to drag it in. Using the move tool, we'll come in, go on the red brick wall, drop it in, and we will then uh, command control T to uh, scale it. And so we could fit in, okay, and we just drag it till it's fitting into the picture how we like it, okay. And if you need more room, just command a call zero, and it'll give you the uh, the whole image, and you can come in and do its thing. And just size it up to your picture, position it how you want it, and when you're good, hit enter to accept the changes. Okay, so now we have the uh, graffiti wall over our desaturated red brick wall. So the next thing we need to do is we need to use a combination of blend if modes, blend modes, and so forth to uh, make this canvas graffiti look like it's imprinted on the brick. And in order to do that, it's extremely easy. It's a great technique. Uh, and that's the whole purpose of this week's video is to teach you how easy it is to blend, okay, and start getting comfortable with the blend modes as well as the blend if sliders, okay? Blend if is, is what most people have a little problem understanding or how to doing, but they're really easy to do. So let's jump right in. All right, so first thing to make this uh, more believable here, on the graffiti layer, I'm gonna change its blend mode from normal to multiply. And you can see just by doing that, okay, we've got the brick pattern appearing. Uh, so it's already starting to look like it's actually on the brick. So that's step one. The next step is we need to, in addition to changing the blend mode, we need to use the blend if sliders to do some fine blending of the two. So anywhere on the blank area, just double click on it and it'll open up the blending options. And down here in the bottom is what we're talking about. It's the blend if area. And you have the current layer, and then you have the underlying layer. Okay? What we're going to be working with here is the underlying layer. And you have sliders, white sliders and dark sliders, respectively. And if I slide them over, they're doing the blending and controlling, as you can see, as the more I do it. Okay? Now, why Adobe doesn't do this by default, I don't know but it's designed so that we can split these little triangle selectors so you can get a, nice, a much nicer, smoother gradation. So when you're hovering over the triangle, all I want you to do is hit Alter Option and click. And you'll notice it splits the little triangles in half. Now taking the left triangle, now I can do a really smooth transition. Okay, and you can see there, now I have the brick wall everything's fading in there and we hit okay okay and again that's on the underlying layer all right so now we have a much more realistic blend all right 
And now we're going to just reinforce that by doing a combination of a few more blends. To duplicate this layer, I'm going to hit Command or Control J to duplicate it. And I'm going to do that twice. So Command or Control J and Command and Control J. And that command, that does it. So I have three layers total of the graffiti layer. On the second layer, we're going to go up to the third layer and we're going to do some changes on the underlying. First thing is I want to turn around and change the screen blend mode. Okay, so there to the screen. And I'm going to double click the blank to get the blend options in. And I'm going to, remember, because we made duplicates, it still has our split, right? So I want to get that together. So pull the white back and put the black point back. And we're starting from here. But this time, we are going to uh, split the black point. All right, so alter option to split it. And now we have the triangle. And now I'm going to pull that tangle over here. And I'm observing as I'm going, okay? to make a very realistic transition. And I dragged it all the way to the right. And look how good that looks now. Now that looks very believable that we are very much on the brick wall. If you look in there, you can see we are very much look like it's graffiti painted on the, the brick wall. Okay, so now using those little tricks, we used a combination of blend modes and blend if sliders We've got a very realistic blend with minimum work. And then all we have to do now is just turn around and bring our subject in and uh, place her on the canvas. So we'll go ahead and drag her. I've already taken the liberty of cutting her out from her background. Okay, she was there, and I'm just taking her out of her background. And I'm going to drag her and drop her on our newly image. Drop it in. And I'm going to... Slide it in, and I'll position her in the, the thing. I could even command or control T to uh, slide her. Let's see, command or control T, and command zero so we can see the handles. Um, that was command zero to, to actually to get it so that you could see the handles. Because sometimes the picture is so big you just can't see it. And you position her how you wish in your frame okay and i'm thinking that's looking pretty good and there we go command zero and we are now looking at a great composite at minimum effort so again this is to learn how to use the blend modes and the blend if sliders to make your life a lot easier when you're working with compositing and adding textures and uh, combining layers together. So, so hopefully you found this useful. And uh, till next week, you guys take care and happy shooting.